just make conversation with anybody a lot of people say oh don't get into no relationships stay away from the boys girl go have your fun schoolwork should come first in the hallways on the stairs that's nasty Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ariane and for today's video, I'm just going to be doing freshman advice video. So basically for any incoming freshman going into high school, just want to give y'all some advice, you know, coming from your big college sister. I'm a college freshman and don't know what to do with myself, clearly. But yeah, so let me just stop talking and just jump right into it. I have a few notes that I'm just going to talk about basically. So number one is what is to be expected on your first day. So the first day, honestly, for me, it was pretty chaotic because my school personally was just unorganized. So, yeah. But overall, on your first day, you're going to be confused. You're going to be lost. And it's okay. Like, it can be a little, like, scary because you're in a new environment. You're around new people. And it's just overwhelming. But it's really not that bad. It's just trying to get used to it and just putting yourself out there, basically. So, don't worry you're gonna be fine I know like the first few minutes or hours are probably gonna be like confusing and stressful but overall it's gonna be a good experience so next is tips on making friends Oof. so me personally I'm like an introvert extrovert but it's kind of easy for me to make friends just make conversation with anybody that's all I can really say about that like if you see somebody with like the same shoes as you or got similar outfits compliment them like start off with a compliment and like just ease your way into the conversation because they're freshmen too or whoever and you know it's the first day of school and everybody's trying to make friends everybody's trying to like find their crew and all you really have to do is just put yourself out there talk like don't be scared I know it seems scary but just talk because that other person may be scared as well so having somebody else to talk to will kind of like ease their anxiety too and make them feel comfortable and that's really just how you make friends just overall so that's 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 my advice on that how do i maintain good grades so with that you really need to create a routine and a schedule for yourself so if you're like doing sports or like anything like extra put your schoolwork first like i don't care what nobody says like the parties and all of that can wait your school sh like schoolwork should come first because a lot of people like think your freshman year doesn't really count but it does it does especially if you're trying to go to college it counts your freshman and your senior year count the most um at least at my school it did so all you really need to do is just create a schedule for yourself create a routine so that everything can fall into place and you know like okay on monday i need to do these two assignments and then on tuesday i can go out with my friends you know keep a nice little balance that's all i really gotta say what supplies do you need um really i mean your school should hopefully like give you like a electronic device like a laptop or a chromebook or whatever i got a chromebook so <laughs> i bought so much school like let me tell you i bought so much school supplies like i have a bucket of school supplies with a whole bunch of like loose leaf paper notebooks colored pencils and pens all of that and I have not used nothing besides a black pen, a blue pen, and a pencil. And a folder. That's about it. Like, I bought so much stuff thinking I'm going to be so organized for my senior year. It's going to be so nice. No, you do not need all the extra stuff. Get, just get basic stuff. Me personally, a folder, some pens, highlighters, and some pencils. That's going to get you straight. Because really nowadays everything is online. So... It really just depends how your teachers like want to teach I guess so you really don't need that much stuff like please don't go crazy over school supplies because it just makes no sense wait until your teacher tells you what you actually need for your class do that instead because spending a whole bunch of money on stuff you're literally never gonna use for the year just makes no sense so just wait until your teacher you know tell you if they do that if they don't just get like the basic stuff and then see how your class um, like goes along if that makes sense group of friends or stick to yourself me personally i would say both there's nothing wrong with having your group it's nice to have your own friends and be around people that you know helps with the high school experience you are the one who makes or break your high school experience or just any experience overall so nothing's wrong with having a group but also nothing is wrong with being by yourself especially at a big school i was at a big school and i have my group but sometimes i'm just like okay you know i don't feel like hanging out with them i'm just go to the library and kick it so it's just a little balance. Is high school that bad? <laughs> I don't know if I'm the right person to answer this. 
um for me personally i absolutely hated high school but i had good moments don't don't listen to me fully with that part but you like i said you're the one who makes or breaks your high school experience i just had a lot going on personally but overall i did make a lot of memories i did have good things that went on and you know i'm glad it happened so really it's not that bad but one thing is it's not like the movies it's not it's not some things kind of but it's not like the movies and i can't really say it's gonna be the best four years of your life it depends on a person but overall it's really not that bad it goes by really quick so you know make your memories have fun and just live while you, you know you're still a kid school relationships yeah. <sighs> there were so many couples at my school it was it was kind of nasty they was being nasty in the hallways on the stairs that's nasty like i it that's not even appropriate for youtube and i'm not getting into that but honestly a lot of people say oh don't get into no relationships stay away from the boys girl go have your fun like i was having my fun you know hey hey if you want your little bookie pookie wookie tookie wookie you know then go do that like to me just don't rush into it and feel like overwhelmed to or not even overwhelmed like pressure to have like a boyfriend or a girlfriend whatever like there's no stress you're still young and my thing is have fun keep your options open keep your options open and just be mindful of who you are situating yourself with and that also goes like for friends too so i say date if you want to you don't have to just have fun <laughs> virginity advice so in high school you know especially in this generation it's very common for a lot of girls or boys to you know lose their virginities and me personally i just feel like it's not even worth it because the drama that comes with it it's ridiculous personally you're not missing out on nothing if you do it or not like it's really not that serious if you want to do it do it stay protected and another thing do not be sending no nudes don't send no nudes because i promise y'all that gets around so much quicker than somebody saying something like the internet is it's crazy like <laughs> the amount of nudes and videos and movies i didn't seen at school in class like it was ridiculous like i didn't seen so many people's private video pictures whatever is from other people showing me like that's how fast word gets around and it's pretty embarrassing like i'm not gonna say mm, my thing is just don't send them because it's not worth it it's not worth the embarrassment and i know some people will be like well you know i was trying to send this to my my partner or whatever and I just thought he was going to keep this between us. Babes, you can't trust nobody like that. Even if the, even if that's your man, y'all locked in. Nobody is fully trustworthy when it comes to your body. Some people, they feel obligated to show it off. Like, yeah, I did that. I hit that. Da, 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 da. And you're only thinking like, you know, this was just an intimate moment between me and you. Like, not everybody is trying to think like that. Or even if they do, they still want to show off. Like it's not worth it it's not worth the drama and all of that just keep your pictures to yourself in your phone and that's that not saying that goes for everybody but for most people after you know you do something with somebody word gets around real quick real quick and all eyes are on you and it's just not a comfortable situation it's like why would you want to put yourself into that situation i'm not saying don't do that but personally just keep it and if you do choose to lose it lose it to somebody you trust and i know everybody says that but it's the truth do it with somebody that you trust somebody that you know is not gonna be spilling your business running a big old mouth telling everybody and their mama what y'all done did last night okay okay dealing with mean girls so with mean girls that's why my high school experience was kind of trashy but i still made the most of it regardless to me f all them haters like you got to, you got to be confident boo. that's it because they hate that and it's like they will talk so much behind your back but they won't post up to you and even if they do don't fight them like another thing like with school fights don't don't get in no fight it's not worth it like you're too beautiful you got too much to lose it's not worth it it's just not and why would you want to put yourself in that situation like it's 
for what screw the girls who hate you screw the people who be talking about you just live your best life because this is your world and they living in it period what type of people should you stay or should you steer clear from anybody who be running their mouth if you know somebody or you acquainted with somebody who be telling everybody in their mama business including their own business do not open your mouth about none of nothing that you got going on personally because i promise you they're gonna spill that and put bad juju and bad energy on you don't and that's also how i survived high school keep your mouth shut i don't care if that's your best friend your boyfriend your whoever your friend acquaint keep your mouth zip zip and throw that key away do not tell nobody your business stay stay out the mix i cannot stress this enough stay out the mix keep your mouth shut keep your head down still have fun you know but not everybody should be knowing what you're doing all the time what what the moves like no nobody should be knowing your moves your plans nothing never let your right hand know what your left hand know and vice versa no no it's gonna save you a lot of drama a lot of time consuming bs just mm -mm. because people love to you know high school is full of drama like let's just keep it real high school is full of drama negative people whatever whatever and people be miserable with their lives so you know of course they want to hate on somebody else just to make themselves feel better because you know they got their own stuff going on and that's how they cope I, okay like okay but my thing is keep your business on a low no mm -mm. i'm telling I'm coming from y'all big sister. I'm telling y'all, keep your mouth shut. That's how you're going to survive. That's how you're going to survive for four years. Mm -hmm. um, staying out of drama, basically the same thing I'm saying. Keep keep your head down. Stay out the mix. Don't be telling your business. Don't be messy and be telling other people's business because that's how you get in trouble. So you're in trouble. Okay? Okay. Alright, so how to be okay with being alone or having no friends? So honestly, in high school, sometimes it really just happens. People split apart, go their own ways or whatever. In my experience, I was alone like a lot and it's really not bad. Like people like try to make it seem like being alone is bad and you just need to be around everybody all up in the mix. Like, no, you really don't. It's not that serious. Like being alone, like especially if you're around people that are just not the right type of people you want to surround yourself with like just negative negative mindset just just mean people like sometimes you just have to separate yourself from that and it's okay like can we normalize being alone like nothing is wrong with just having one or two friends or even just completely having no friends and just being by yourself like yeah it can get lonely sometimes i went through that but cha i choose peace over anything because these girls in high school is just messy and rude and I ain't trying to scare y'all now because not everybody's like that but if I would have to choose being with the popular girls the mean girls over being alone girl I'm choosing to be alone like it's not that serious you're gonna be fine and it's honestly kind of nice to just be alone sometimes to just get your mind right just think about you for a minute and just you know keep to yourself for a minute nothing is wrong with that what should i be prepared for you should honestly be prepared for just like the whole adjustment part of high school it is a lot like first coming in as a freshman you know it's fun and games at first but then you're really starting to like grow mature and all of that it's it's a really big transition mentally from middle school to high school and when i was transitioning from middle school to high school i came from a small private school to a really big public school so it was honestly a lot for me and COVID just hit too. So, you know, you girls having a little bit of social anxiety. I didn't know how to talk to people. But eventually you learn to open up to, you know, calm down, be more expressive. And also, you don't want to be that person who's just not, like, easy to talk to. Like, you want to be an open, sociable person. You don't want to just be mean, stuck to yourself, all of that. Like, high school, we're here to have fun and we're here to learn. That simple. So don't be that type of person who just, you know, antisocial. I don't need no friends. I'm doing this all by myself. Like, no, have fun, make friends, talk to new people. Because that honestly helps you, like, mentally and physically. Like, it makes you feel good to, like, meet new people and, you know, see their perspective on life or whatever they got going on. Or just have a nice conversation with somebody else other than your typical people or just yourself. And the last thing is probably how to deal with boys. Honestly, I say 
a lot of people say stay away from boys, focus on school, da da da. I'm not gonna say that. What I'm gonna say is have your fun. Have your fun, but be safe and be careful. Boys are messy and girls are messy. So either way, still prioritize yourself and just be mindful of what you're doing with somebody else. Basically, um, it's okay not to want a relationship and just focus on you but to the people out there who are like kind of like boy crazy i guess like high school is not for that like yes the boys are all this this and that but don't be boy crazy and do not set your whole like world around them if that makes sense don't revolve everything around them because i've had personal friends who have just made everything about boys 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 but they're failing their classes and have to take summer classes like girl it's not that serious boys are gonna be boys at the end of the day and my thing is girl have your options open have fun be safe be protected but just enjoy like we're still young we're growing up there's 50 million fishes out in a sea so one little breakup one little heartbreak you know it's gonna hurt in a moment but you're gonna be fine eventually don't don't fully take it to heart because sweetheart what one dude won't do another one will do it better period that's what you gotta stand by. What one won't do, another one will do it better. And keep it pushing. You don't wanna put all your eggs in one basket. Spread them out. You know, have a nice little variety, okay? But yeah, overall, high school, it's not that bad. You're gonna live, you're gonna survive. Don't stress about it. And if you guys have any questions or want me to give you like any other tips or anything, please don't be shy talk to me in the comments or if you guys want to dm me personally on tiktok you guys can and yeah i hope i'm not like missing nothing too too much but this is just how my high school experience went high school it's not that bad you're gonna be okay and just have fun these four years will fly by so fast and i really want everyone you know to enjoy those moments because sweetheart the adult life ain't easy so be a kid as much as you can go go hang out with that guy go hang out with that girl go party but still focus on your schoolwork still prioritize your schoolwork take care of yourself physically and mentally and you know just enjoy like it's not that bad freshman year was probably one of the easiest years i can say <laughs> out of all four years it was probably the easiest don't stress over it too much don't overthink it just go with the flow and go in with the open mind so yeah, that's basically it. So if you guys have any other questions, talk to me down in the comments. And yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.